In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Utah Jazz. They are currently one of the top teams in the Western Conference. So let's get down and let's check out what makes them so unstoppable and getting so many wins so far this season. Let's get down and let's check it out really quickly. If you want to be able to check out and win more games, of course, check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense down in the description below. Okay, so first thing is first, after a rebound or after a steal, the first thing that they do is to look for the pass and protect the ball. This is something that a lot of teams don't do even at the pro level, especially at the youth level. These players will decide to dribble up the court themselves, but you want to outlet the ball. The Utah Jazz do that perfectly. They have two outlet men at the free throw line extended and that player is able to get that ball down court. As soon as he gets that ball, that outlet player, he's looking down court. He actually sees, in this case, a situation where there's nobody defending the middle of the paint. This guy's back is to the whole entire play. So the ball handler decides to attack the rim and finish with an easy layup. Nobody was there to contest it. We see this once again after the rebound. They outlet that ball, in this case, down court, and now... Because they controlled that ball, didn't dribble right away, and they were able to pass down court, now they're on a four-on-two situation, and the player who has the ball is able to get in jelly layup. Now, a lot of the Utah Jazz's offense comes from transition, and this is how I personally like to coach as well. And a lot of teams don't get back on defense. We can see right here, there's three guys just looking literally at everything other than getting back on defense. And in this case, the Utah Jazz are able to score very easily. Transition is a fantastic way of being able to score. Another great way of scoring here, Clarkson attacks the, the net, or attacks the rim, gets the ball into the pit paint and one of the easiest ways to beat most defenses is to drive and then kick the ball and that's what we see here and as soon as this player gets that ball and recognizes that this guy is essentially on his heels he attacks that rim and what we see here is very good as well this is something that it took until I was in high school to learn and if you're younger you can learn this right now and you'll be ahead of yourself but if you've got a player behind you who could play help defense if your teammates attacking what you can do is to box them out to clear them out of the lane and basically makes sure that this player cannot double team the ball handler wing to point passes are notoriously bad passes or at least notoriously picked off now the reason why this is picked off is anytime that you've got a player who's running away from the ball and the ball is being passed to him from the wing to the point if you are in position to try to steal that ball a hundred percent go for it because his momentum is taking him away from the ball that means that if you are able to poke that ball free you've pretty much got an open lane to the basket for in this case in a layup but almost a dunk again anytime that you can get that ball into the paint and then help side defenders will always go and try and defend your drive if you can kick that ball out towards the corner if there's a corner man ready in this case Clarkson you're going to get a lot of open three-point shots now I really want you to check out this play there's a man who starts in the post who uses a pin down screen on the elbow who pops out towards this wing. The ball handler then passes to that player who set that screen and screens away for the player who just used that high post screen. At this time, he uses that screen and he has a few different options. He can cut in, he can use the dribble handoff, he can pull up for a three if he's open. In this case, what we see is neither of those options were open, so Alinek passed the ball back out. At this time, you don't just stand there and just say, well, I passed it, there's no sense in doing anything. No, you've got to do something. And one of the easiest ways when a play breaks down is setting a screen for the player you pass to, in this case, that gets Connolly a wide open three-point shot. Again, defense to offense, getting that ball, not dribbling right away, looking for that outlet pass, and then getting that ball down court. You've got a huge mismatch in player numbers, and you can take advantage in this case we, the Utah Jazz pull up for a three-point shot. Now, could there have been a better option? Yes, he could have passed to Olenek, who could have drove, who kicked it out for a three here, but Clarkson made that three anyways. 
Another thing that the Utah Jazz do after a basket is they try to inbound as fast as possible. By them inbounding as fast as possible, they can get that ball down court when there's still four players in their own area, in their own side of the court, which then allows for wide open dunks as we can see right here. Always try to push the pace, always try to push that ball down court. So here, there's a quick screen for Clarkson. This is a play that normally would end up with a shot or at least a possession from the corner, but what we see here is the defender cheating underneath that screen. Anytime that a player goes underneath that screen, you need to pop out because that's going to give you the space that's needed to pull up for a three-point shot, and that's exactly what Clarkson did here. Again, getting that ball into the paint, you're going to collapse the defense, then you can kick that ball out. Here, they were able to kick and then swing to an open three-point shooter. Now, why is drive kick swing so important? I teach this to my youngest team, the U11s, mainly because once you get that ball into the paint, you've collapsed the defense. If you kick that ball out, sure, he's got a good shot, but now look at all of the attention that he has. He literally has everybody's attention and all of their momentum is bringing them towards him which means that if he swings that ball now their momentum has to stop and go back towards the ball which obviously opens up lanes there's another shot over here as well but here Clarkson's able to hit that three drive kick swing is so important if you want to win games now here they get another defensive possession. Now Olenek dribbles the ball right away to get it down court, but what's the first thing that he does after he gets that control dribble? He gets that control dribble, he looks down court right away. He knows he's going to have options. And he's able to hit one option quick and then watch a quick swing to the opposite side of the court which shifts the defensive player's attention towards that side. Now, this could have been an alley-oop if this was a very athletic player, but instead, the Utah Jazz were able to pull up for a three-point shot and make that shot as well. So by being a pass-first team who can get that ball into the paint to kick it out and swing it for a three, but also the transition from defense to offense, is something that is allowing the Utah Jazz to become one of the top teams in the Western Conference. Make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.